Hello YouTubers and welcome to this year's Doctor Who DVD collection. As you know, there's a little bit more on the Pat Troughton era as I got recently got hold of the faceless one. So let's begin. Unearthly Child, which is actually surprisingly good and underrated. The Daleks, my favourite out of season one. Fantastic story. Edge of Destruction, great story, underrated. Keys of Marinus, fantastic story. Aztecs, fantastic story. Sense of Rides, fantastic story, really underrated. Rang and Terror, another fantastic story. Yep, season one in a whole is a really strong season. I see it as Willie Mutnell's best season. For season two, we got Planet of Giants, The Dalek, Invasion Murph. The Rescue, The Romans, The Web Planet, The Species Eum, The Chase, which is really underrated, The Timer, another fantastic story. Season 2, Season 2 is like another strong, is like another like strong season. I mean, I see it as Hartnell's second best season. The Ark, eh. Gunfighters, which is really underrated. War Machines, fantastic story. Tenth Planet, a really fantastic story. Such a bizarre and f such a fan great, fantastic way to end the William Hartnell era. Parodolix, fantastic story. Definitely a fantastic start to the Patron era. Underwater Menace, which is underrated. Moonbase, fantastic story. Makotera, fantastic story. Faces once, the newest one to my edition, as I said before earlier. Another fantastic story. Evil Daleks, audio translated CD, another fantastic story. Season 4 is such another really strong season. Sort of acts like a mix between both Hartnell's final season and Trollen's first season. Definitely. Tomb of Siren, fantastic story. Ice Warriors, another fantastic story. Enemy of the World, fantastic story. Web of Fear, great story. Season 5 is another is another strong season. I can't wait until we get like the Web of Fear, Fury from the Deep on DVD. Looking forward to that one. Don't know when that one's coming out. And then I can't wait until they get Wheel in Space. The Dominators, eh, it's okay. Mind Robber, fantastic story. Invasion, fantastic story, bit too long. Crodon's good story. Seeds of Death, great story. War Games, fantastic temper. Although it is a bit too long for a temper, but still, it marks the ending. Still a fantastic story, and it marks the ending of the Patron era, the black and white era of almost six years, and uh, the the Peter Barron era. Uh, Spirit from Space, fantastic story, fantastic start to the John Perwe era, fantastic start to the show being into colour. Doctor and Slayer Ends, another fantastic story. That's a death, another fantastic story. It does very well for pacing for a seven parter. Uh, Inferno, another fantastic story, and I agree with everyone. Season seven is such a fantastic season. Definitely, it it's definitely well gel John Perwe's best season. Terror of the Ordons, great story, great introduction to the Master. Mind of Evil, really underrated. Another fantastic story. Calls of Axos, another fantastic story. Calling Space, underrated, pretty good, but probably the weakest out of season eight. Demons, another fantastic story. Another one of my favorite John Perwe stories. Theodolix, great story, underrated. Curse of Peladon, that's eh, good. Sea Devils, fantastic story, probably the most strongest story from season 9. Mutants, good. Time Monster, <coughs> nope, don't want to talk about that one. Three Doctors, fantastic multi Doctor special. Uh, Call of the Monsters, another fantastic story. Frontier in Space, another one of my favorite John Perry stories, another fantastic story. Uh, Planet of Daleks, great story, story, but probably like the weakest out of season 10. Green Death, another one of my favourite John Perry stories, fantastic story. Time Warrior, fantastic story. Mode Dinosaurs, pretty good, good. 
That's a Dalek's really underrated, probably like one of my favorite John Pertwee stories. The Monster Peladon, fantastic story, really underrated. Planet of Spiders, great story, definitely a great way to end the John Pertwee era on. It also marks the ending of the John Pertwee era, five years and five seasons, and the Terrence Dix and Barry Latz era and Unit Family era. And I think that season one is a really underrated season. I think it's not as bad as what fans really say it out to be. Now into season 12, the Tom Baker era. We got Robot, great start to the Tom Baker era. Arc in Space, fantastic story. Sultan Experiment, a underrated, another fantastic story. Just as Dykes, the best story out of season 12, fantastic story. Renzo Simon, uh, pretty good, but probably the weakest out of season 12. Terror of the Zygons, fantastic story. Love the soundtrack in this story. Planet of Fire, really underrated, another great story. Prison Mars, one of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Fantastic story. Under Innovation, good, but probably like the weakest out of season 13. Brain of Morbius, another one of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Another fantastic story. Seeds of Doom, another fantastic story, but I think this one is a tiny bit overrated. But still a fantastic story. Just drags, really drags a bit around uh, part one. It really drags a bit around part, parts one and two, but then it gets better around part three. Musk and Drago, a really underrated story. Another one of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Fantastic story. Hand of Fear, The Exit to Sarah Dane Smith, another fantastic story. Delhi Assassin, one of my favorite Tom Baker stories, and another bizarre, creepy horror theme story. Such a fantastic story. Face of Evil, a great story, but probably like the weakest out of season 14, but still a great story. Rowlet to Death, my favorite story out of season 14, and my favorite Tom Baker story of all time. Fantastic story. Charles Wing Chiang. Another fantastic story from the season. The only thing I have to criticize about the story is the racism against the Chinese and the British, but oh well, it's still a fantastic story. But overall, if I look at season 14, season 14 is such a bizarre and bizarre scene, so fun and action packed, in my opinion. Season, season 14 is such a really strong season. I personally see it as Tom Baker's best season. And he's like, most darkest season ever. Can't wait until this season comes out on Blu-ray here in Australia. Horror Fang Rock, another one of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Fantastic story. Visible Enemy, great story. It's really underrated. Introduction to K9. Image of the Fendo, another one of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Fantastic story, in my opinion. Um, this is probably like marking the ending of the golden era of Doctor Who, in my opinion. The Sunmaker is good, but really drags a lot. Drags a lot at part four. I think that this story should have been a five-parter. That's just my opinion. Underworld, eh, it's okay. Not as bad as what fans say it out to be. Invasion of Time, eh, it's okay. Um, basically, season 15, season 15 in a nutshell. Basically, it started off great, but then it just all went downhill during the later parts. Okay, Rival Separation, great story. Pirate Planet, fun, action-packed story. Really underrated story, I don't know why so many people hate this story, it's fun. Stones of Blood, um, pretty bad, Pr really overrated story. The Androids of Tara, my favorite story out of the Key to Time season. It's one of my favorite Tom Baker stories, such a Fantastic story. Power Crawl, another really underrated story from this season. I don't know why so many fans hate this story. Like, I love it. I find Crawl to be very creepy and terrifying. Like, I just don't know why. I guess because of my love and fondness for, like, squids and octopuses. I suppose. I'm going to factor. Good story. Uh, it's a bit clunky here and there, but still a good story. But not one of... But probably like one of the most weakest uh, season finals. But overall, I think that season uh, 16 has to be like the most strongest season out of the G. Williams era. Not 
really that fond of the Graham Willie Mirror. Dusting the Daleks, really underrated. Still a great, fun action pack story. I have such nostalgic feelings for the story. City of Death, another one of my favorite stories. Tom Baker's stories, fantastic story. I love the soundtrack in this story. And I just love this, the location it was in. Creature from the Pit, eh, it's okay. Nightmare in Eden, eh, it's okay. Horse and Iron, eh, shit, mold into this. Probably, this one has to, probably like my least favorite Tom Baker story. And I personally see it as his worst story. Shot a fantastic story. The story would mark the ending of the diamond shaped logo era, the Rainbow Scarf era, and the Dovey Simpson era, and it would also be the first story to have all its parts there in the 80s. But when I look at like season 7, it's just really not what it's all cracked up to be. I think that this season is really overrated. Like, like it has three great stories like Destiny and Dalek, City of Death, and Shadow, but the other three are not, not so much. I think that season 17 has to be Tom Baker's weakest season. I guess I just prefer Tom Baker's acting betrayal in the Philip Hinchcliffe and the early JNT era of the show, in my opinion. But anyway, the Graham Williams era was technically like a hit and miss for me. The Leisure Hive, eh, it's okay. Megalos, fantastic story. One of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Full circle, great story. Great introduction for Atrick. State of K, fantastic story. One of my favorite stories out of season 80 and one of my favorite Tom Baker stories. Legopolis, it's good. Bit clunky here and there. Keep a truck and another one, my, probably like my favorite story out of season 80. Such a creepy, fantastic horror themed story. I feel like this is like a sequel to The Deadly Assassin. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Legopolis, fantastic story. In my opinion, this was definitely a great way to end Tom Baker's run after seven years and seven seasons. Custer Valva, which is underrated, and a great introduction to Peter Davison's Doctor. Port of Doomsday, a really great story and very interesting story. Kinder, really underrated, another fantastic story. And one of my favorite Peter Davison stories. Uh, Visitation, another one of my favorite stories, and another fantastic story from the season. Black Orchard, great story, the first historical story we've had since Patron's first season. Earthshock, my second favorite Peter Davidson story. Such a fantastic story and a great, a fantastic departure for Atrick. It really helps serve the story up for his character in seasons 18 and 19. Uh, Time Flight. Great, um, time flight, Ugh. probably the worst story out of his era. Ark Infinity, underrated. Snake Dance, good story, but not as good as Kinder. Mordred Egg, great story, nice to see Brigadier return. Great introduction to my favorite companion from the days in Europe, Tolo. Uh, Terminus, yeah, it's okay. Uh, in line, one of my favorite P. Davis stories, another fantastic story. The King's Demons, good story. Five Doctors, another one of my favorite Peter Davison stories. Another fantastic story from his era. Warriors of the Deep, underrated. The Awakening, underrated. Frontiers, another, a really fantastic story. One of my favorite Peter Davison stories. I love the soundtrack in this story. Another fantastic story. Uh, Resurrection of Daleks, great story. Planet Fire, really underrated. Keizer and Drazani, fantastic story. One of my my favorite Peter Davison story of all time. Such a fantastic way to end the Peter Davison era on. So overall, if we look at, if we just take away to Dinella, season 21, in my opinion, is another really strong season, in my opinion. And I personally see it as like Davis, Peter Davison's best season as the Doctor. And and his most darkest season. And this darkest season of Doctor, in my opinion, this has to be like the most darkest season we've had since season 14. Now for uh, the Colin Baker, we've got Taka Simon. It's okay. Mark of the Ro Avengers of the Forest. Good story, but a bit over it. I still think it's a great story, but I don't praise it like others do. Mark of the Rani. It's okay. 
Two doctors, it's okay. Time lash, eh, pretty bad. Radiation Daleks, my favorite Colin Baker story. Got such nostalgic feelings for this episode. Such a fantastic story. This is where I thought Colin Baker was starting to get more into the role as the Doctor. Mysterious Planet, underrated, fantastic story. Mind Warp, good story, but probably the weakest out of season 23. Uh, Tell the Voids, fantastic story. So underrated and underappreciated. The Ultimate Foe, another fantastic story. Season 23 is another strong season. Time of the Rani, really underrated story. Great introduction to Sylvester McGoy's Doctor. Paradise Towers, underrated. Another great story from the season. Delta the Manor, probably the worst story, in my opinion, of McGoy's run. Dragonfire, good story. Rance the Dikes, fantastic story. One of my favorite. Favorites of my favorite Sylvester McGoy story, Hatmas Troll, another fantastic story, really underrated. I love the candy man, he's so hilarious. Silver Nemesis, it's okay. Grey Shining Galaxy, another fantastic story, another one of my favorite Sylvester McGoy stories. Battlefield, great story. This also marks the Brigadier's last appearance in the original series and Unit's last appearance in the original series. Survival, marking the another a fantastic story, marking the ending of the classic series era of the show and the Giant T era of the show and the Anthony Allen era of the show. The TV movie, great story, really underrated. Dio Doctor, fantastic. Lost in Time, full of my favourite stories from the Hot on Trillion, fantastic. Complete season 19 on Blu ray, complete. Season 23 on Blu-ray, complete season 26 on Blu-ray. Now if I just take the charger off, I'll show you what the others. We go over here. Over here we got complete season 10 and season 18 on Blu-ray. So that's the entire Doctor Who uh, DVD collection. Can't wait for season 14 to come out on Blu-ray. So later now, bye and